Hi, this is John Kranz with Consum Press, and this tutorial is going to focus on U-Boat Refit. And we're going to go through the various steps to determine how many months a U-Boat will need to um, be refitted before it can take on its next patrol assignment. So uh, again, if you have a printed copy of, of the rules or the PDF, in this case I have the PDF, we're going to be focusing on the area beginning with section 10.10, .10, U-Boat Refit. So basically at the end of a uh, patrol assignment, uh, you'll survey the damage uh, to your U-Boat as well as injuries to your crew sustained, and you'll go through the refit phase for that U-Boat and for your crew. And the rules are fairly straightforward. There's not too many rules here. You can see we just have a few cases here that discusses refit. And if I scroll this a little bit further, we see here on the left side uh, just a few more cases with an example showing uh, how long the refit phase uh, would typically take under certain uh, circumstances as detailed in this example. So rather than focus again on the rules, let's simply uh, turn to our Type 7 CU boat. And I'll focus in here just a little bit so we can see this more clearly. So what we're going to assume in this case is that I've been uh, I've just completed my patrol assignment for British Isles, meaning I've entered the last uh, transit box, I've rolled there for possible encounters, I've dealt with that situation, whatever has come up, and I've hit the point where it's the end of the encounter, <coughs> and the encounter is over, so the U-boat has basically completed its, its uh, patrol assignment. And to begin the refit, to denote that, we would just move our um, Type 7 C U boat marker to the import uh, or refit uh, space to begin the refit. So let's take a quick look at what we have for our U boat as we enter refit. Uh, you can see uh, the uh, commandant uh, rating or ranking is 2. Um, under certain cases, if you have a certain um, rating, uh, which I believe is a rank 3, there's a potential where you could uh, shorten the length of refit by one month. Um, if you've incurred significant damage, that is, you can uh, have a possibility to do that. In this case, our commandant rank is um, simply a 2, so I know there's, no, there's not going to be a modifier for that. We see we have a trained crew. Uh, if you look at the uh, torpedo load section, we've spent quite a few uh, torpedoes, as you can see here. Uh, we've used some of our ammo rounds. Uh, as well. Notice we have uh, an inoperable deck gun that was damaged and not repaired successfully during our patrol uh, assignment. Uh, we have our aft torpedo too. Looks like from what we see here the aft torpedoes were never engaged against any uh, targets uh, during the uh, patrol assignment since we have them both still there. Uh, now scanning down for any additional damage that may have incurred, we see we have definitely taken on some hull damage um, with the U-boat. Uh, we've taken on three, four, five, actual five hits of hull damage, and you can see the marker denoting that here. Uh, flooding always gets resolved uh, at the end of uh, combat rounds as you get ready for your next encounter, so uh, there is no flooding that would apply uh, to worry about during a refit phase. And then we look at our remaining systems. We see we have an inoperable um, diesel engine. One of our diesel engines is out. And same applies for our radio and for our uh, aft torpedo tube. Um, actually, now that we see our aft torpedo tube door is inoperable, that might explain uh, actually why these torpedoes um, have not uh, been spent in terms of a salvo. Most likely that is a result of the aft torpedo doors getting jammed, damaged, and uh, basically those were then unable to be used uh, during the patrol. So that probably explains what happened there. And besides U-boat damage, which uh, gets uh, dealt with during the refit phase, we can also look at our crew status for injury. And if we look here, we have a light wound has incurred for our first uh, watch officer. Our uh, we have, oh, this is interesting, we have an expert, the ranked uh, engineer, uh, which uh, is, is very beneficial for when you're conducting repairs while you're out on uh, patrol, uh, while you're out on patrol between rounds, you get a chance to do conduct repairs in the middle of your uh, patrol assignments where you'll either repair the system or it will switch, flip over to inoperable, which we had in our case. So he was probably helpful in some cases, but we still have some inoperable systems that even with the uh, 
uh, expert engineer he was unable to help. And uh, part of that could have been he may have been severely wounded early on during the patrol assignment, which means he wouldn't have had that um, modifier of minus one to apply to repair roles uh, while out on patrol. So perhaps our list engineer uh, was, uh, or our engineer rather, was um, severely wounded early on during our patrol ass um, assignment, and therefore he can apply that modifier to help out with our uh, repair roles while we were out at sea. And finally, we have two of our four generic crew spaces have light wounds. So now that we've seen and surveyed uh, the damage as we've taken our U-boat uh, back to back to uh, port for a refit to, before we begin our next patrol assignment, uh, let's uh, remember what the rules are. I'll go through those now as far as how you would go ahead and, and conduct repairs and determine the length of the refit. So let's first of all um, begin with the hull damage. Looking at the hull damage, and actually we have an indicator here, uh, we have a darker line that sort of separates this swim lane of, of various boxes. And you'll notice the first three boxes says it's going to be an extra month to refit. And if you're in the second series of three boxes, there's uh, extra two months to refit. And finally here, uh, if you're in this one space here, it's three extra months to refit. Now before uh, we actually uh, determine the, or add the whole damage, what are we adding it to? Well, this is very important. Our typical U-boats, um, standard models, they will go through an automatic one month of a refit, and that is regardless of any damage whatsoever. There are some special rules for certain um, certain U-boats are considered to have a longer patrol length. It's as detailed in the rules, and so what we do there, it's not a longer refit phase, but we, what we do is we write the letter P in, in, uh, for, to count as one month, which basically reflects that the U-boat was out uh, longer on its patrol assignment. It was basically a two-month patrol assignment versus one month, and again, those extended patrols are covered in the rules, and I'll just show you from the index page for extended uh, patrol length. It's 10.106 and I think it's important to show that if you do have that type of U-boat I will go ahead and, and show that case. So basically it's a, any uh, type um, 9 U-boat and the type 7D U-boats uh, conducted uh, patrols of, of greater duration. So you denote that by putting a, a letter P for that first month on your um, on your patrol log sheet to indicate that it's it's a longer um, longer period that you are out at sea before you actually began your refit. In this case, we have a type seven uh, C, so we don't have to worry about that in this case. Um, so we have one month that we automatically have for refit, can't avoid it. And then now for our whole damage, we see here that it's an additional two months. So we're now at a total of three months for the refit phase for this U-boat before it can go back out on its next patrol assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and, and remove that now because I've already factored it in. Now we look at our systems damage that we have incurred here. And I'll turn to the rules for that for system damage just so you can see um, that right up here quickly what we're going to be referencing. So uh, what we have here it's case 10.10.2 um, and for any systems, you can repair up to two systems for free. If they're inoperable, if you have more than two, meaning three or greater, you add an additional month of refit uh, for the U-boat. So again, we were already at three months, one month automatic, two months for the whole damage. And we see here we have one, two, three, four areas of system damage. That's more than two, so that adds another month, or in other words, we're now at four months of uh, damage, um, or four months of refit, rather, that we have for our U-boat. Uh, we're not quite done yet. We have our crew status to take care of, so light wounds automatically will go away. So those would be removed uh, during the refit phase. But I do have to roll uh, for my engineer, who is uh, severely wounded. So basically, I'm going to roll a single-sided die, a d6, and I want to roll a four or less. The reason I want to roll a four or less is that would be the number of months that it takes for this uh, engineer to recuperate to be able to join his comrades back to go on the next patrol assignment. If I roll a five or six, I would end up having a engineer replaced for my next patrol and I would lose my experte 
uh, benefit or, or rating, that marker would go away. So let's go ahead and roll for that now. So we know we're in a four-month refit phase. So let's see if our engineer can recover. And we will roll a single six-sided die. I rolled a five. Unfortunately, that five means, and this is bad news for you as, as the captain, as commandant, you are going to lose your uh, expert uh, engineer. He will not be rejoining the next uh, patrol uh, assignment because he needs five months to recuperate, but you're going to be only in refit for four months. So that difference right there means he will not be available. So basically what we've done uh, in terms of completing our refit phase, all the markers would be going away as far as damage. You would clear all damage and basically you would be getting ready to reset your uh, boat. So obviously we'll be reloading um, all our torpedoes, for example, for the next patrol assignment once we roll for that, but we are taking away uh, and we have basically the U-boat has been refit with all damage, all inoperable systems have been repaired. So again, just to summarize what we've done here is that we've taken our standard U-boat model which basically just requires automatically a one month refit phase no matter, regardless of damage. We then looked at the whole damage we had, and in this case we were on this track needing two months additional, which moved us to three months. And then you'll recall we had four systems that were damaged. We had the deck guns, we had the aft torpedo, door jammed or inoperable, which made, uh, that's why the, these torpedoes didn't get a chance to probably fire. And then we had two uh, miscellaneous systems damaged. So we had four damaged systems. Uh, it wouldn't have taken us an extra month to repair that if we had only two or less that were damaged. So that uh, added another month to our three, and that's a total of four months. Then we took care of all our crew. All the light wounds automatically come off. Um, obviously, if it was somebody was killed in action, that would be a replacement uh, as well. And then the bad news was we had our um, our highly rated uh, engineer uh, was severely wounded and needed an, uh, a total of five months to recuperate, where our, our refit was only four months. So we lost our expert a comrade, and uh, we lose that benefit, and we would just have a generic uh, engineer with no special benefits. So that, in a nutshell, covers um, the, the refit phase. There are perhaps a few other rules to consider. Um, again, there could be, um, if you have a certain commandant rating, you can uh, speed up your refit. So if I had a higher uh, commandant rating, I believe it's a three or higher, I could have uh, removed one month from my refit period. It would have been three months instead of four months. And again, that is available um, on the table we have. And I can actually just go there really quickly to show you that section. So uh, basically, it shortens the refit if you're a Corvette and Capitan, which is uh, level three. Um, but again, you have to have more than two months of a refit for that to be factored in. I could have actually shaved off a month off my refit. Um, so basically, what you would do on your patrol log sheet, and we have an illustration of that in the rules uh, booklet, how would you actually denote the refit? Well, what you would do is, for example, I was doing British Isles. So let's say I started October 40, British Isles. That's the very first patrol assignment. And I mentioned there was four months of refit. So no, November, December, January, and February would have had the letter R uh, placed in those four boxes. And then, so my next patrol assignment would have been March of 41. So that would be a blank space, and I would obviously write in whatever my patrol assignment would be uh, starting for March 41. So that's, again, just an overview of how we would conduct a U-boat refit in the game.